Hello guys, uh, I'm Jay Janenovic and uh, I'm glad to welcome you uh, in another of my Adobe Illustrator tutorials. Uh, what I'm going to make today uh, is this background that is set on my laptop. Uh, this is kind of a wallpaper uh, that I did for my logo. So you can you can use your, your own uh, logo or something you create and put it in the middle here and uh, create everything around it so <clears throat> i have this all set in uh, adobe illustrator and i'll just go roughly here uh, to show you from what this uh, consists uh, i'll go into outline mode and you can see uh, all the elements here so uh, i'll start from the uh, top layer so on the top uh, we have these circles yeah, there are. This is just a basic uh, white to to transparency a zero gradient, uh, and uh, I just used. Uh, I just hold it, uh, held a dra uh, alt and uh, drag this to make this look uh, fancy. Uh, then in the background uh, we have these lines. I think I blocked them. So. These two are only uh, just paths uh, that contain a, a gradient going to from C here, two dark colors and uh, one uh, lighter uh, in the middle. And uh, this background is only a pattern. And uh, above all, this uh, is a mesh that I, that you can use to control the color of this. Uh, let me show you. So, if I drag these sliders, uh, the result uh, changes pretty rapidly, and you can always play with the colors uh, to see what it's look what what it uh, looks like, what will it will look uh, in the end. So let's start. I'll use this. Okay, this, this is okay. Uh, <coughs> I'll drag drag this artboard a bit so kind of matches uh, my desktop so but that but that doesn't matter um, uh, I'm gonna copy my logo it's locked here so unlock it select control C uh, to switch between documents uh, you can use control and tab so to switch between uh, open documents in in uh, in the software so hold control and tab if you uh, hold alt and tab you can switch between open uh, open windows or open, open open programs uh, the, here could, could be chrome for example or something else so uh, i'll just get back here uh, paste this here make it look in the center uh, because i have smart guides uh, turned on uh, this shows me automatically uh, where the center is so I'll put it there. Uh, <clears throat> the second thing uh, we're gonna make uh, this background. Uh, I forgot to mention that by default uh, my logo uh, has uh, this gradient applied. So it looks like this. Uh, the color is you can stop the video and copy this. It's EB4E4E and this darker one is um, 9c and 4 3 so I'll just what, what I did uh, I just applied this gradient to the background so nothing special here um, next thing I'll select my logo go to object pattern and uh, make so uh, we need to make a pattern out of this uh, just select uh, all and reduce the size of it so make it pretty small uh, hold alt and drag one into the corner and uh, drag one here but do a flip I'll reflect it let me see this uh, horizontal yes okay and uh, drag one here too Maybe, maybe make this one here and here. 
so we have a kind of a rose here okay uh, this so uh, I, I, I had explained how to make a pattern in one of my previous video you, videos you can check them on my channel uh, so uh, what this did uh, is we have a, a pattern made here uh, in the layers panel I put I put this panel uh, pattern below my logo and uh, with this selected uh, we'll play with the transparency mode a bit uh, so make this uh, this pattern uh, just blend blend a, a bit better uh, with the background uh, we want we don't want it uh, to stand uh, out that much it should be just a subtle uh, uh, wallpaper here so we can use uh, soft light and reduce the opacity maybe to 20 30 okay I'll make this strong 50. 50 is fine. Uh, the next step uh, we can see here uh, you cannot see it uh, quite well but we have a mesh here so I'll just quickly uh, drag another rectangle above all this uh, remove the pattern fill and uh, make it may I, I'll make it just a uh, this gray color press the U shortcut on your keyboard and make a few of these points uh, so we can control the mesh so I'll make these few points here a bit lighter color these few darker it's just a game here you can play with this uh, as long as you want to, to achieve a better uh, a result uh, you can also drag these handles wherever you want them uh, you can make uh, one of these colors penetrate uh, into another field like this but you can you can see it done then well uh, each time so I'll just leave it like this uh, now I will select this mesh Select it to overlay, and uh, then one interesting effect. Uh, I have to admit uh, that I only recently recently heard about it. Is uh, if you go to edit and edit colors, uh, adjust color balance. You can play with this uh, uh, with the color of the mesh. So. To achieve uh, any color really this is really really great so for this tutorial uh, we might uh, make uh, something purplish because I, I kind of like the color purple uh, you need to know uh, just only the basic rules of how colors uh, mix uh, nothing nothing too too special uh, I think I'll leave this like this because uh, we have where the darker areas are we have this reddish color uh, at least my monitor uh, shows the, the reddish color and where the lighter uh, areas on the mesh are like here I believe uh, the color is uh, a bit more purple so if we we can play with this so you can see so again this is RGB here and uh, you can take take some time and, and uh, uh, really make an interesting result but I, I don't have much time uh, this is a tutorial so I'll, I'll leave that to you uh, the next thing uh, it's pretty simple and uh, it is pretty efficient I lock the mesh uh, panel so these smart guides uh, turn on they, they, they just uh, they go on my nerves so I'll use the pen tool and make a point here 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 and here uh, this path isn't closed now it is go to the gradient apply a basic gradient here and uh, I'll set it to uh, uh, overlay uh, right now 
and uh, uh, I'll select this color here so just click on it uh, hold shift and click on these uh, this color uh, palette here so what it does is changes automatically changes the color mode here so you don't have to go to these options here it's uh, just a uh, more faster uh, way to do to do it so uh, what what am I doing here uh, I'm adjusting this color so it gets transparent so uh, one side of this gradient uh, gets transparent and the other is a bit too too light because of the overlay uh, mode on so I'll just put this point a bit down and uh, let me see I'll have to drag the slider here and uh, by holding the alt key I'll duplicate this Now we can see what I'm trying to achieve. It's not easy though. Give me a second, please. Something like this. I have, this is what I had in mind. If you drag this point a bit more to the bottom, uh, we can make this disappear uh, totally. So, uh, to make it kind of fade this is okay this is okay now so next step uh, hold alt duplicate this rotate it uh, I want to show you a trick uh, you can uh, do a rotation here and then adjust all this but if you uh, use the press the R and uh, adjust the center of the rotation to the bottom maybe and drag the top you can uh, you can do the, the final result a bit faster. So I make a, another one here. This time I'll set it a bit uh, wider. I'll copy these three, drag them over here. Use the transform tool, reflect. This time vertical. We had a preview on, so we, we see what we do. And, uh, well, we could actually drag those a bit closer here. Something like this. So this looks fine. Uh, this tutorial has got uh, it's gotten pretty long, so uh, this last step, uh, I won't uh, be using much time. So let's get this done f uh, faster. So make a gradient that has a radial uh, here and uh, the second here, here uh, both sides of the gradient are white, uh, one side is transparent. Uh, reduce the overall opacity to 50% maybe and choose a overlay screen item. You always have to experiment with these color modes. You never know uh, what, you, what result uh, you'll end up with. So uh, I'll make this bigger and uh, copy one here and press Ctrl D a few times to just copy my last action and make this sorted just a bit. Uh, I'll copy this here, reduce the size again. I hope you are following with me. I really think these uh, aren't uh, s these steps aren't that uh, hard. I'll reduce these here to make it uh, just like a point, maybe a bit smaller. Okay. Uh, again, drag this one here and Control D to make more of them, and just this sort with this one here, this one here, here, one here here and uh, it is pretty close uh, <laughs> the only difference is the color so yeah you can just uh, go control uh, alt f uh, and uh, save this for web or export it as a jpeg and put it on your background or do something with it uh, 
uh, I really uh, hope guys uh, that you liked uh, this video if you did uh, subscribe to my channel check it out uh, there are so, some more good tutorials about SOLIDWORKS, uh, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop and I'm planning to do uh, Inkscape too so yeah subscribe to my channel and see you next time bye